ancestor approved intertribal stories for kids is a middle grade anthology of short stories and poem. My thought was, in, in, in part a reaction. I one day was looking at statistics that were broken out from the CCBC numbers of books by and about native people. And Debbie Reese and American Indians and Children's Literature had taken that to a few more categories. I forget which year it was, but the only short story, um, actually the only middle grade representation for native um, content was one inclusion in, I think it was, it was a We Need Diverse Books anthology. It was by distinguished Choctaw author, Tim Tingle. So throughout the entire body of literature, the only middle grade representation for Native people and Native voices was one short story. And that just hit me. I, I was um, thinking that somebody should do something about it. And then I realized that while I'd never edited an anthology, short stories were among my passions. I had published short stories in multitude of anthologies. And so I decided maybe that person should be me. And I thought it would be wonderful if I could bring in established folks like Tim um, and Joseph Bruchak, up and comers, uh, you know, like Eric Gansworth and Tracy Sorrell and brand new voices like Brian Young and Andrea Rogers. Part of it was to expose more native writers to native and non-native kids, but also to expose them to native and non-native teachers and librarians so that they could follow that person's short story to more of their work so that I could raise recognition of their byline. A secondary goal was to help foster more connections within the community of Native creatives. Because it was a very collaborative anthology, um, we worked on a message board, online message board, uh, texts were flying all over the place. I was pairing authors. You two both have Cherokee characters speaking Cherokee, figure out the dialogues. You three both have Ojibwe characters speaking Ojibwe. All of you are giving me a slightly different glossary. Talk to each other. Your two characters both have uncles who are custodians at this high school where this fictional intertribal pow is taking place. Do they know each other? Are they going to cross paths? This really got everyone mixing. So for an author like Brian Young, debut novel came out with Heart Drum this past year, Healer of the Water Monster, to have the opportunity to talk to a very established longtime writer and writing professor, Eric Gansworth, um, our new Prince Honor Work winner for Apple Skin to the Core. That was terrific for both of them. You know, um, Brian has all this fresh energy and questions and was making Eric think about things in new ways. And it was a wonderful opportunity um, for Brian to get to soak in some of Eric's wisdom and humor and to give himself a little bit more permission to be who he really was because it was an all indigenous group. The sort of values that went into it, the way that we framed it didn't have to be a typical Western structure. Um, Brian has more than one inclusion because he has a story told from two opposing characters, points of view. Uh, Kim has a poem and a short story. The character in Kim's story, her protagonist, is the character that Nicole depicts in the cover art. If you look through, it's very specific. And so then the cover artist was working with the author to learn more about the Wichita people, about what would be appropriate to the regalia, about the symbolism of what would be included on the shawl. All of that creates layers or connection of circles, kind of like the poem Carol Lindstrom wrote, one of our best poets, um, that helps to bookend the anthology. We didn't want to do something that would be a thinly veiled social studies project, but we wanted it to have a lot of terrific classroom application. So we were able to brainstorm ways to use back matter and poetry to offer connective tissue to non-native readers, but also native kids for whom powwow isn't part of their cultural practice. Not all tribes are powwow tribes. 
And that's part of the diversity that we wanted to reflect too.